could kick it in the living room Looking through my whole vinyl collection And you could teach me how to slow dance or something And I'ma give you chills harmonizing to all this ice Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel It's your girl Celine back at it again And again and again and again and again I'm having a really great hair day I just had a wash day I should have filmed it but I was lazy as hell like there was just no way I was going to be able to have enough brain cells to do this and film it at the same time. But when I reach that point, I will definitely do that. I've just been seeing this TikTok everywhere. Her name is Kiara Lewis, and I'm going to put her TikTok right here. Be delusional. Fuck what everybody talk about this whole be realistic. My key to life, the reason why I be having so much fun is I'm delusional as fuck. And who are you hurting by being delusional? Who are you hurting by thinking you are the shit? You're going to be, I think I'm going to be the first millionaire in my family. Do I have proof of that? Hell, fuck. Her message was phenomenal. Be delusional. And it's so crazy because this is not the first time I've heard this. But it's just really crazy when you see someone kind of put into words like how you've been feeling. Like since I was born, I promise you, I promise y'all, I knew. I knew something was going to happen for me. I knew something was going to click for me. My name is Celine Million. If that's not a stage name, I don't know what is. Like, And then once I saw True Jackson VP please i was like oh no like i can literally do this i can literally do this and you know it's just been something that i've just had in me for like a really long time and then i was just like dang like how can i do it like how can i really do it like i tell this story all the time in all of my other youtube videos but no seriously like every issue coming i'm seeing gabrielle union i saw emma chamberlain i saw like just mad people on these magazines and i was like i'm on the wrong side of the register like for real like i was like I should not be packing these magazines out and, and, and scanning them for these people. I need to be on them. I need to be on, oh, how am I going to do this? And then I've been wanting to quit my job for like such a long time, but I was like, what's your backup plan? And then I hated that because it was just like, why do I need a backup plan if I know this plan is going to work? There I was thinking that me being delusional in that sense was a bad thing. But if you believe in it so much, the universe will continuously show you things that will get you to where you want to be. So you saying you on the wrong side of the register, what you gonna do to get there? And then I was like, dang, I was like, dang, you right. It's so funny because I actually stumbled across this podcast. It was called High Key Adulting by Jada Jones. Like during those couple of months, like that podcast really helped. That's her name, her name was Jada, right? So she's like 19 turning 20 now and she lives in LA now. And when I tell you, I think she honestly was being delusional before being delusional was even a thing. She was out here grinding, like grinding. Like she did not take no for an answer. She was emailing agencies, she was emailing brands, she was doing what she had to do. She had a YouTube channel with over like 20K subscribers and she actually just recently restarted it and now she's at 3K now in such a short amount of time. But hard work paid pays off consistency pays off and she knows exactly what she wants and she goes for it and I was just like dang you know so I'm clocking in I'm literally clocking in I'm listening to the podcast and I was like all right so Celine what you gonna do because you know at the time I had my old YouTube channel but I never posted on it due to like fear and just feeling like I didn't think I could do it because I was like working if you're gonna quit your job to pursue acting and modeling and content creation you have to do that you know you could definitely do both but I feel like I was giving way too much of myself into a job where I didn't really see any benefits or anything clicking for me you know what I mean so I needed to be out in the world I needed to be at these events I needed to be outside meeting other creatives kind of connecting and and figuring things out and just seeing stuff like i wanted set experience i wanted to be an actor so you need set experience to have set experience you need to be on a set i did it and then i finally did it i quit my job no quote unquote backup plan just vibes i was just like you know what i know exactly what i want to do so i'm gonna do it i think that same day i actually went to manhattan i went to this like thrift shop or whatever and then i met like the same day met other creatives they're like hey what you do and you fake it till you make it so at the time you know obviously i was content creating so like i wasn't like lying but i was just like oh yeah i'm a content creator model actor <laughs> and then be like oh what have i seen you in and i'm like oh you know <laughs> They'd be like, what? And I'd be like, ah. I'm gonna catch you later. I'm gonna go to the back. They say fake it till you make it. At first, I doubted it, but no, I totally believe that because if you, if I go around telling everyone I'm a model and I'm an actor, I'm a content creator, it's all gonna align. As long as you're doing the hard work, it all makes sense. So 
period. There have been so many instances where I have literally been delusional, like going to LA on a whim. I, I had nothing to do there. I just was like, yeah, I'm about to just go and we're about to see what happens. The day I go, the first day, I literally posted on my story as a joke. I'm gonna show the story post. I literally was like, oh yeah, meet and greet time. Like who I'm about to see, like what's up? Why did I see Madison Pettis like literally five minutes after I posted that story? I'm not kidding. I was literally walking. Everyone's like, oh, like what do you do? Cause you know, city of, you're in LA. Everyone's gonna ask you, what do you, what you got going on? And I was like, oh, I'm actually from New York. And they're like, oh, what do you do in New York? And I was like, I'm a model, an actor, content creator, influencer, YouTuber, superstar, icon, Celine Milly. Heard of me? No? <laughs> and I'm like, yo, she looked mad familiar, like, right? And I'm just like, oh, probably a superstar like me, right? I kept it chill. I was like, oh, hey. And she was like, oh, hi. And I was like, hi, Madison. I'm Celine. I remember you. I saw you in that movie. She's like, yeah, that was me. And I was like, wow, that's so crazy. She's like, <laughs> And then we took a picture together and it was just so fun. Like, I just like literally could not believe that. And I feel like it's giving when you align yourself, like honestly, things just kind of come together. I feel like there's just been multiple occasions where you putting yourself in that mindset, energy just attracts. It just literally makes sense. And just being yourself and just like living in your truth and your dreams, no one can stop you. Like that is the main takeaway from this video. I didn't even finish the video, but I just want to say this, like, no one can tell you about your dreams and i feel like that's why i am where i am right now if i love my parents fear and like people just saying like i don't know like what are you gonna do instead like what do you what if this doesn't work are you gonna like no because it is gonna work number one supporter you need to be your number one believer because this is your dream like i feel like what helps is like kind of giving yourself a little storyline like i really do think this is my documentary like this is the before pieces to my it girl era like i feel like i'm just literally that girl and it's only a matter of time before it all happens and it all clicks but right now i'm enjoying the journey because you only get these kind of moments once and you really want to make sure you live and bask and appreciate them all before they're gone and before other and better things happen so yeah <laughs> more stories of me just literally just doing just doing me putting myself out there me and my friend audrey i was hanging out with her we went to the james corden show we were there and like we we saw um i forgot the band's name but they sing silk siobhan oh it was phoebe briggers and i don't remember like the featuring band but like we saw it live and stuff and i wanted to picture with james corden because soon i'm gonna be on his show like he's gonna be in there he's gonna be like and tonight's episode, we have Celine Millie. The crowd will be like, ah, ah, ah. like that's gonna be me. So I needed to get my picture for my manifestation purposes, right? So honestly, you're not even supposed to like take pictures like on set and stuff. But I feel like if you're like nice about it, sometimes things could happen. So I literally waved at James. Like I was like, I'm gonna show you exactly what happened. So I'm like on stage, like we're all sitting and James is at his desk because there's kind of like a big distance between the stage and the audience, right? So I see James and he looks at me. And I'm like, and he's like, and then I'm like, and he's like, and then I was like, because I, I didn't think it was going to, I mean, I feel like he's nice. So I was like, I knew he was going to say yes, but I didn't think it was going to be that quick. And then I was like, right now? He was like, yeah. And then, you know, the people that was there, they was they was guarding us with the jaws of life. Like, I got up through like, oh, excuse me, man, please sit down. And I was just like, James said I could, I could stand up. And then he looked at James. <laughs> the worker looked at James and was like, and then James was like, yeah, yeah, I got I to gotta go. And then she was like. So I went up and I took the picture with Dan. I'll put it here. I forgot to take my mask off because it was such a fast moment. But it's okay because, you know, staying safe and stuff. But, like, tell me this doesn't look like I'm the next attendant. Tell me this doesn't give Celine Millie interview era. Like, after this, I have my Teen Vogue magazine shoe. Then I have to do the ID photo shoe because I'm the cover of next month's issue. And after that, I have to do the Vanity Fair cover. You just see myself on like a Harper's Bazaar cover. Like, I see it. I see it. I believe it. I feel it. It's just so fun. Like, I just feel like believing in yourself and just kind of giving yourself something. Because I'm always daydreaming. I'm always daydreaming. I'm not even here all the time. I'm not. I'm living in my I'm living in my fantasy world, but my fantasy is literally becoming my reality. And I think that is what makes it so fun. And that's just 
95% of me being delusional and it working. Like that's literally, oh, that's only a month's work. So many other instances where I've just seen me believing in myself taking me far. Like, hello, starting this YouTube channel. Like, you need to live your life the way you envision it, the way you see it, the way you wanna live, go ahead and do that. I promise you, I promise you things change, doors open. I feel like what really set the tone for me was seeing Little Nas X's speech yesterday. So he just won Male Artist of the Year at the iHeartRadio Awards, period, period, right? And he literally shouted out Kiara in, in his speech. How iconic is that? How iconic is that for your words to just literally touch people? Like, she inspired me. She made me make this video because I, I was just like, you so right. You are so right. I'm going to put his acceptance award speech. Girl, she was like, you guys should be delusional. She was telling everybody that they should be delusional. And that didn't make sense to me. And then I thought about it. And I wouldn't be where I am right now in my life and career if I weren't delusional. Believing... <laughs> Montero, one thing about him, he don't play by his dreams because he knows he wants it. I remember I, there's a tweet that he made that is so ingrained in my brain and I try to remember it every single time I feel like embarrassed or ashamed or whatever. Are you always talking about your things? Don't you, aren't you afraid of looking desperate? He literally said, and I quote, hopefully I could find the tweet and I'll add it here, but he said, I don't mind being desperate when it comes to my dreams. And I was like, yeah yeah because that's a fact like i remember when i first had my channel i was scared to tell people i had the channel because i didn't want to look weird or like why is she promoting her youtube channel right now but no i'm gonna bring up in every conversation hey i got a youtube channel oh my god i remember that when i made it on my youtube channel oh my gosh my youtube channel i remember when i did like i don't care who i'm talking to i'm gonna tell them i have a youtube channel just by having that strength having that courage knowing your five steps from consistency from your last video this dang journal writing it all out bullet pointing like you really did that and i'm extremely proud i'm i'm extremely proud and i cannot wait to see what you do in the future and i'm saying that to you Celine, and you who's watching because i'm telling y'all believing in yourself will change your life like you can do it you can do anything doubt is no longer a part of my vocabulary i actually don't even know what that means embarrassment what is that sorry don't know her don't know her i only know success peace celine millionaire awesome sexy haitian model icon that's all I have for y'all today. Be sure to check out my description box. I'm gonna link everything that I've listed in this video because amazing resources. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter and all my other social media, TikTok especially. My TikTok is booming, it's great, it's amazing, it's fun, it's fresh, I'm sexy, talented, and Asian. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. I literally cannot stop smiling. So I'm gonna see y'all next week. I really hope you enjoyed Millie March.